all right guys how is it going this is visual intelligence and welcome back to another very exciting cinema 4d tutorial so in this tutorial we'll be using cinema 4d to create this kind of very long shadow uh effect that i have posted about it um like a while ago uh i mean this tutorial preview and a lot uh I mean not a lot but uh, some of you guys really liked it and uh, I wanted to show kind of how I uh, did this since uh, it's really something I never seen uh, anyone doing on Cinema 4D so let's go ahead and uh, get started so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to file new and create a new document uh, obviously we want some text so let's go ahead and go to MoGraph and then add a mo text object can go ahead and change the text to something really uh it doesn't matter what, what for me but you can add your own text it's really for the sake of demonstration that i changed it you can go ahead and change the font i'm going to be using um rockwell why not and uh, i'm going to be aligning that in the middle so that's looking pretty good already alright so I guess that's uh, it for uh, the text what we want to do now is you want to go to the depth and decrease that quite a bit I mean increase that because that's what's going to be our shadow basically so let's go with uh, like uh, 2000 centimeters so what we want to do is we want to make it look like a shadow and if we were to uh, align it like in the video you can see that it looks uh, really um, you know distorted and that's because of the um, the depth uh, feel to it and uh, we don't really want that so what we want to do is we want to go to your camera and uh, you know we don't want to work with the perspective so let's go with parallel and that's uh, doing a great job for us for now so let's uh, get our camera looking good that's looking pretty good in my opinion and now what we want to do is we want to texture that so before we do that let's go ahead and go to fill uh, filter and then uh, uncheck the grid I don't really want to see it for now let's double click on the materials panel to create a new material let's double click on that material Let's uncheck the color and the specular. Let's go to luminance and check that. And uh, we want it to be nice and white. We want to du uh, duplicate that. So let's uh, control and uh, shift and drag. And this will duplicate it. Let's turn the color to um, something like yellow. Let's go with yellow. Yeah, something like that looks pretty nice in my opinion. Let's go and drag that, duplicate it once more. Uh, let's go with an orange darker uh, color. It's looking pretty good. And uh, now let's go ahead and texture our text. First thing we want to do is we want to go and drag the white. Um, no, before that, let's go and drag the um, yellow material on the text actually that's our shadow so let's uh, remove that and uh, texture it with the um, darker uh, material and let's go ahead and add some uh, some background and let's add the other uh, lighter material onto the background and if we hit render right now yeah, you can see that we're starting to get there so that is pretty cool all we need to do is to reveal our text so just um, drag the white material onto your text make sure it's uh, after the first material let's go to the selection and uh, type C1 for cap 1 make sure it's a capital letter and uh, it will uh, apply only the text on the uh, first cap which is exactly what we want so if we hit render you can see how that looks uh, you can see the colors looks look really terrible so you can go ahead and change that any uh, anytime you want so I'm not gonna do that so let's go ahead and go to render settings let's go with 1280 by 720 
you can crank that up li uh, a lot more since uh, uh, it really doesn't take a lot to render as you can see you can go to save and uh, depending on what you want to save it maybe you want to save it uh, as an AVI movie or a PNG sequence or a JPEG really doesn't matter but um, I would go with a PNG sequence and then uh, composite it in uh, in After Effects or something. If you want to do an animation, and also make sure to uh, change the frame to all frames. But I'm just going to, going to be outputting a one frame, so I'm not going to do that. But I'm going to be. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do that anyway. Who cares? All frames. And um, yeah. So if we hit render right now. You can see that it looks really flat and uh, I really like that by the way but if you want to get that uh, effect from the video you can go to effect and add in ambient occlusion and if you hit render right now you can see it takes a little more time to render but it uh, it does uh, give a slightly uh, better result or different result it doesn't have to be uh, better than the other one so yeah so, that, so that's looking uh, really awesome in my opinion so what we want to do now is we want to um, just uh, go ahead and uh, really what we want to do is uh, animate that so a really cool way to, to do that is to go to MoGraph actually let's go to your uh, MoTeX go to Letters and uh, it will show this uh, effects tab let's go to MoGraph Effectors and add a um, plane object to that so what the plane object does if you go to the effector and change the strength is by default it just uh, affects the y position uh, which is uh, not what we really want so let's go ahead and zero that out let's go to the z position and uh, really crank that up until we don't see our text anymore so something like uh, 1200 centimeters uh, works uh, in my uh, preview right here so why not so what you want to do is you want to go to your fall off change it from infinite to linear and uh, change the orientation to plus x or minus x obviously it's minus x so you can see that when we animate the uh, uh, the plane object you can see that uh, uh, more uh, letters go in <coughs> which is exactly what we want what you want to do though is you want to go to your uh, size and really size that up. You can change it from here or you can uh, uh, drag these handles so it comes uh, more smooth. Yeah. So next step is you want to animate position so let's place it right in here in uh, frame 0 and then hit the keyframe button. Let's go to like uh, uh, 30, 30th frame, which is one second, and uh, drag it uh, until your whole text is uh, is actually showing, and then uh, hit another keyframe. And if we uh, hit play right now, you can see it looks a lot uh, what we want, but it, you can see that it looks really uh, solid, really plain. There is nothing. Uh, really that catchy in that so what I want to do though is you want to go to your uh, mo text make sure you're on letters tab and then go to mo grab effector and add a uh, delay effector and by uh, default the delay effector comes as um, blend mode so if we if we uh, if we hit play right now you can see that the animation looks a lot better already You can see it like uh, it's like more smooth. You can really s increase the strength and see by yourself how that looks, and it looks really awesome in my opinion. But um, uh, what I did was I added a spring mode. So if we hit play right now, you can see uh, the difference, and you can uh, increase the strength, and this will increase the overshoot of your letters, and uh. I find 60 to be uh, pretty good in my uh, purposes 
So let's uh, choose a render frame and then let's hit render and see how that looks. And as you can see, it looks really, really nice. You can always go ahead and uh, really uncheck the ambient occlusion, render that out again. If you want this look, which is uh, really, uh, I guess, what's mo what most people find really cool. And uh, yeah, that is uh, looking uh, pretty good in my opinion. Let's go back and uh, re-add the ambient occlusion. It's, it's my opinion that I really like it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. As always, you can always go back to your text, go to object, you can change the text to whatever you want. Make sure if it's um if it's tall, make sure to adjust the camera and stuff and uh yeah, that is looking pretty good. You can even add a camera and add some animation to that and uh stuff. Really, but I'm not gonna do that uh since um it's really a short tutorial. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you guys a lot for uh, watching. Um, hope this is uh, useful enough uh, for you guys. Hope you find something uh, useful in this tutorial. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, or and check other of our videos. So again, this is Visual Intelligence, and see you guys next week.